What is the best Twitch server to stream to? You're gonna find out in today's video, so stay tuned. Welcome to Live Streaming Tech, where you'll learn how to live stream like a pro with technology you should know. Hey, you wanna know what is the best server to stream on Twitch? Well, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna send this over to Walt because this stuff goes way over my head. Walt, take it away. This program right here where I'm gonna show you is called Twitch Bandwidth uh, Test. This is uh, version 1.5. This is a free to use uh, software. I will have the link down below uh, in the description. It is free to use and it's pretty cool. So the first thing, as you see here, we need a stream key. So I went ahead and I logged into our new live streaming tech Twitch site. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go to the dashboard. We're gonna have to grab our key. Now, I recommend never showing anyone your key. Uh, this is pretty much goes for any of the platforms you stream on. And then, so we copied that. Now we can minimize it. Now we can go ahead and we can drop this in there. So now we're, we're able to test. So here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and look for North American servers since I'm living in North America. Makes sense. And then now you see it uh, checked them. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't want Canada, Quebec. I don't want uh, Mexico. We don't want Canada. So now we've narrowed it down pretty much to the United States here. So we're going to go ahead and hit start. And it takes about 10 seconds for each one. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna test the uh, quality, it's gonna test the bandwidth and the ping. And this is a really cool video, or a cool way to test the Twitch servers. The reason why you want to do this is you want to see what the optimal server is going to be. So this is gonna require you to do multiple tests at different times of the day as you go along. In Streamlabs OBS, you can always set it up to what is recommended. But the thing is, is where I found is what might be great to start your stream on might not be late especially the longer your stream is going to go especially on twitch once you start getting a prime time you're going to find more and more people hammering certain types of servers so for instance um, i might start a stream and i might find that the uh, uh, new york server is better because i'm starting around 2 p.m eastern time but once i'm into the 4 p.m 6 p.m range that's prime time, then that server's really gonna be popping. So I find a lot of times it's better to go with Chicago because it might not be the best server to start with, but in the long haul, it's gonna average out. And this is a good way, when you're doing this bandwidth test, your quality test, uh, you're gonna look at your pings. Uh, so for instance, you got your pings in the center right between bandwidth and quality. And that's what you're looking at, is you're looking at how good your ping is gonna be. Um, and then you're also gonna look at the uh, bandwidth. So uh, the thing is, is the more people that are going to be on those servers is going to affect that. It's not necessarily going to affect the ping. You might always have the same type of ping going to each server. It's when and the time of day you're going to stream. So when you're going to run this is you're going to want to run it around the times that you plan on streaming. So in other words, if you go to work at like 5 a.m. in the morning, that's not the best time to run that, you know, the, the server test unless you're going to be streaming 5 a.m. in the morning uh on those days play around with it uh especially days that you choose not to stream um, if you normally stream say 2 p.m eastern time 3 p.m eastern time do a test around that time wait a couple hours come back down um, and like I said, this runs pretty quick and you can narrow it down and select what specific servers you're looking at. So for instance, once we are done running these North American server tests, I can sit there and look, okay, well, uh, the Georgia one looks pretty great. Uh, the Chicago one looks great. The Virginia one, I used to stream off that one. That looks awesome as well. It's very good pings, very good bandwidth. But the thing is, like I said, during the different times of the day, it's gonna, you're gonna have different, you're gonna have uh, different results. So once again, this program is called Twitch Bandwidth Test version 1.5. Definitely give it a look. The link is gonna be down in the description. What did you find out was the best server to stream to? Drop that over inside the comments and in between times, if you wanna learn how to live stream like a pro with technology you should know, you should definitely check out this video series playlist. It's got everything you're gonna to need to get going today.